one is going to be a short little little video. Um, I want to start off by saying that you have the hardest job in the world. The hardest job in the world. God gave you a baby, or four in my case, gave you a baby to grow and to protect inside your body for almost an entire year you are pregnant with this child or children. And it's it's your responsibility to make sure that this baby is to be fed and nurtured and loved and taken care of and just protected all together. And then you bring this baby into the world, your body is all jacked up, but then you see this little potato that you're holding for the very first time. You get to see this baby look this child in the eye for the first time after you bonded with them on the inside. You felt every kick, every movement, and now you're holding your child for the first time. Now what? Now you have to take care of it on the outside. You gotta protect it from everything, from disease, from, from pain, from sadness, from hunger, from thirst. You have to take care of this child. So what does he do? What does God do for you? He gives you breast to feed this child from your body until they're old enough to sustain food on their own. It is your responsibility to make sure that they wake up every morning and get tucked in every night and that they're loved. And you don't get paid for it. There's no payment for what you get. Or is there? Actually, the greatest payment of all is when you wake up every morning and you see their smiling face and they say, good morning, mommy. I love you. That is amazing. That is the best payment in the world. Is it going to pay your electric bill? No. Is it going to put food on your table? No. So that's why some moms have to work. I have the luxury of choosing whether I work or not. And right now, right now it's not so much a luxury, <clears throat> but I do have to work right now. If I could choose at this moment in my life to stay home or to work, I would stay home with my kids by far. I've done it all. I've been the stay at home mom. I've been the working mom. I've been the single mom. I've been, I've never been single per se, but my husband's been gone for a long period of time with his job. So I've done the single parenting thing for a long time. For the 10 years I've been a parent, I've been a stay at home mom for probably 70% of it, maybe 80% of the time that I've been a parent. And it's hard. It's hard being a working mom. Moms that never have stayed at home wonder, what do they do, you know? And there's a lot, you know? You, you take care of this child every day. You teach them their ABCs, their one, two, threes, how to poop and pee on the potty. That's not, that's not fun. The pooping part? Who wants to clean up crap all day? No one. But you keep the house clean. You keep the kids fed. You make sure that the that your husband comes home to a warm meal, or if you're a single mom or you're married to a woman, you make sure that everyone that it, you are there to, to love is taken care of. So you get put on the back burner. And that's normal. That's what every mom does. And from the stay from the stay-at-home mom perspective, the difference I the way I put it out there is it's harder. It's really hard for a working mom because you have someone else taking care of your child every day. You don't get to see every moment of every day of their life. The rewarding, the good, the bad, the ugly, the smelly, the sick. The working moms don't get all of that. And and though no one wants to see their child sick, we want to be there for, their, for them when they don't feel good. When they have a fever and all they want is for their mommy to hold them. But on the opposite note, Stay-at-home moms, they don't really get a break. And I get that. At work, you get to be surrounded by adults and you get to turn off certain parts of your life. To, And I don't say that you get to turn off your being a parent because you don't get to turn that off. But you have your family hat and you have your working hat. 
when you come home at the end of the day, your work hat gets put in a drawer and your family hat comes back on. So you get to cut stuff off. When you're a stay-at-home mom, you don't get that opportunity. You crave for that adult communication that you are lacking during the day because if you're married, your spouse is gone. It's just you and your kids. It's you, your kids, the same routine day in and day out. No change. It's hard. But at the end of the day, it is the best thing in the world because you get to see that little thing that started off as an egg is now this blue-eyed, blonde-haired little boy or this brown-eyed, curly-haired little girl. You made that. You did that. So what's next? You. You need to make sure that you are taken care of. Because if you don't take care of yourself and you don't do what's right by you, how are you to fully do that for your children? Trust me when I say that I, I don't ever put myself first. And it's just been recently that I have made an effort to at least once a week do something for myself. That's all you need to do. A bubble bath. A book, a movie, Walmart, Target, Take go to Starbucks and drink Starbucks while you walk around Target for an hour. It's hard to do that, but you have to. You have to put yourself first because you are so important. And when you are 80 years old and you, you're sitting at home in your rocking chair and you're seeing your great-grandchildren running around, your kids then look up to you to say, hey, you know what? She she did it right. She was tough at times, but she did it right. I saw how strong she was. I saw how brave she was. I saw what she went through. I didn't get it back then, but I get it now. Same for me. Before my mom passed away, I became a mom for the first time and she was there for the birth of my child and I didn't fully understand the stuff that she sacrificed for me and my siblings until I started sacrificing for them and my children as well. And I can tell you right now, sacrifice is, it's a given. It's what we're going to do. It, it sucks. But then when you sacrifice and you sacrifice and you never do anything for yourself, what do you, what does that do to you? You got to know that this is the tough job and there's a lot of rewards from it. There really is, but you got to put yourself first from time to time. You got to make you a priority. You do that. You're strong. You're beautiful. You're brave. Otherwise, you wouldn't take on this open-heartedly. You wouldn't accept it. You would have given up way sooner, but you didn't because you love these children and you love yourself and you love your spouse. Now, love yourself even more than you've ever done it before. Because you deserve it. And so does your family. So that's it for today, ladies. Um, I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe below. And I will try to make some more videos. Hopefully in the next couple of days. Alright, bye.